So humanity has quite a few tendencies that are just negative, atrocious, and just awful. We have a lot of bad nature in us and a lot of capacity for evil and wrongdoing. When you wake up tomorrow, you're still going to live in a world where there is such a thing as prejudice, and people will be demonized, run out of their communities, attacked, and possibly even murdered for immutable characteristics like nationality, race, gender, sex, whatever the difference is between the two, I really don't give a shit, uh, sexuality, spirituality, you know, there is going to be discrimination. It's not as widespread as everybody wants to pretend, unless you're in the Middle East, whatever. But don't you find it fascinating that the people who are the most vocal about putting an, an end to a certain element of human nature itself, something that you just can't alter at its core, are the people who can't be in the same room for any amount of time with someone who they don't agree with. They're so bigoted and hateful towards someone who holds an opposing perspective that they will get violent with them. And yet they're the ones who say that they want to be anti-racist, they want to be anti-prejudiced, etc. I find that hilarious. Let me tell you something. You don't get rid of human nature. You don't wipe out violence. You find a healthy and safe outlet for it. If you have prejudice, then what you need to do is you need to divert it. Say, in the instance of sports. To hell with the Steelers. I'm a Cowboys fan. Okay, well that's kind of idiosyncratic and silly at its on its surface. But when you, when you dig a little deeper and, and analyze things more objectively, you realize this is an excellent outfit, or outlet rather, for like a form of bigotry. Like, I don't like people who aren't like me. I want to be around people that are like me and share my values. Well, in sports, it's a lot more harmless than, you know, you know, race-oriented bigotry, isn't it? It's almost constructive. And that competitive spirit has a lot of, you know, cultural value. It also is an excellent place to divert violence and competitiveness. Like, playing football. Instead of, like, going out on the streets and killing rival gang members, you, you, you take that receiver and you push his face into the soil and, and intercept his, his, his pass that was thrown to him by his quarterback and win the game. So you get the same cathartic release of defeating someone that you don't like as you would if you were being violent in the streets like a thug. Same thing with contact sports all over, you know, even if, uh, you know, UFC and fighting and whatnot. They're all of a species. They're an outlet for things that you cannot take out of human nature. You cannot take out bigotry and prejudice. You cannot remove them. You can divert them, refocus them to something more constructive and less awful and egregious, but you're never going to be rid of them. And if you stopped trying to be rid of them and actually saw that they're just baked in to the very species that you are, you'd waste a lot of less of your time and a lot less of everyone else's. And you might even get results. You know, a lot of these places that did have, like, issues in Africa and whatnot with, like, these types of tribal, like, genocide tactics, when they got rolled into things like, you know, soccer, or as the globalists call it, football, because we call football football in, in America, it's not soccer, uh... Sometimes that was enough for them to retarget their efforts at being aggressive and maybe kind of like walk back some of the violence in between the tribes, you know, by introducing sports and other competitive things that are not lethal and, and not meant to be lethal. Just a thought. But I, I just had to make this video because I was just sitting here rolling around in my noggin, like how it is that all these people that are like, oh my God, this prejudice and this hate and all this war has to end. And it's like, you, who are talking about anti-war, want your political com comp competitors, like your, your opponents in politics, basically run out of town and round it up into camps, and you want to talk about an end to war. Respectfully, shut the fuck up and sit down.